There are many times when you would like to work on a quilt and set it up instead of using the tablet or PC or laptop that is connected to your long arm. So that is called simulation mode, and I'm going to show you how that works. First, you open Quilter's Creative Touch, and you will get a message saying that you're in simulation mode, disconnect the computer and USB cable. Normally this will be true because, uh, you, for instance, I'm sitting at a desktop right now working on this. Um, it, you will not be in simulation mode if the cable is plugged in. But if you take your tablet, say you unhook it from your laptop, I'm sorry, from your long arm, and you bring it over to the couch and you want to design your quilt, make sure you don't take the USB cable with you. Make sure it stays with the long arm. And so here you do that and just click yes, and the software will come up. And the main reason you want to do simulation mode is really to save you some hassle of standing at the machine trying to lay out a quilt. Just do it at your leisure on the couch or like I'm doing at a desk right now. So I'm just going to uh, go into Pantograph. The first thing you're going to see in simulation mode is the system asking you to set your safe area. Okay, since you're not at the machine and you can't drag it and click uh, beginning and end, or left corner, bottom right, you've got to do this manually. So this is just a warning here saying um, you're about to do that. And notice the red drawing on here. That's the area that you need to um, define. So first of all, it wants you to set your width. Whatever width you had the last time you were in simulation will probably show here in gray. Um, I'm going to set this at, I don't know, 65. Okay, and then it wants you to set safe area height. How much height can you quilt on your long arm? Uh, on mine, I have an 18 inch throat plate. I can, I mean throat, I can quilt about um, 14 inches, but I'm gonna put 13.5 here just to make, just to be safe. Okay, and I am in power panto mode. Um, again, this video is not about power panto or anything else, I'm just, it's mainly about how to do simulation, so I'm just going to go through this rather quickly. My quilt is 50 wide. My total height is 60. And I'm going to bring in a pattern. Let's do this, Augusta. And then, of course, you'd make any changes to your pattern that you um, might want to, you would normally do, anything like that. When you get your pattern how you like it, Whatever form you're using, whether it's Power Panto, Easy, Basic, or Advanced, this is how you do it. Okay, the next thing, when you get it how you like it, you click Save Panto Design. Now, write this down up here. This is very important. This is the file folder where your quilt is going to be stored. Okay, so make sure you write that down. Um, then you're going to click on File Name. And I'm just going to call this um, Donna Quilt. Okay. And hit enter. And save. Okay, so now my pattern is there. The next thing you want to do, I'm going to get go back out of this, is you've got to copy that file onto a USB stick because it's saved Remember at C colon Quilters Creative Touch powered by Quilt Clack CAD dot dot dot. So the best way to do that is in File Explorer. If you don't already have a link to that, just come down here in the search box and type File Explorer and you'll see it come up right here. Click on that. Now I'm going to navigate to that folder that I wrote down, which is C colon. Quilters Creative Touch, Powered by Quilt CAD, Patterns, Power Panto. And now see, you can see my quilt there. There's an image of it, and then there's also the actual file of uh, the Power Panto that I created. So, the next thing is, 
you need to copy that to a USB drive. Now, I already have one in my computer. It is right here, USB drive F. So I'm just going to hold down my control key and select both of these files. And with my control key still, I'm still pressing it. I'm going to click the left mouse button. See that number two is grab two files. And I'm going to come over here and highlight by my USB drive F and let go. And now I'm going, I'll click on the USB drive and it shows you right here the two files that I just copied are on my USB stick. Now we need to go to the laptop, I'm sorry, we need to go to the tablet or laptop that whatever is connected to your long arm. Okay, so now we are at the laptop that is attached to my long arm. And what we're going to do is go back into that file explorer. And now I want to copy from the USB drive to my C drive. So earlier, uh, or just before here, on the laptop at my desk, we transferred the file from the C, which is the hard drive, onto a USB drive. Okay, now we are at the tablet on my long arm, and I've got the USB drive loaded in, and I want to copy these two files to my C drive, which is in, again, we wrote this down, Quilters Creative Touch, Powered by Quilt CAD, Patterns, and Power Panto. Now, remember, um, you may have a different file structure than I have. So that's why I said make sure you write that down, okay, um, so that you know where to go to at this point. So I have got my USB drive, the two files that I copied, and I'm going to hold down my control key with both of those highlighted and just drag them over into the Power Panto folder on the C drive on my tablet attached to the long arm. Okay, and if you want to make sure they're there, you can click Power Panto and see those two right here. Okay, so now when you go into Quilter's Creative Touch attached to the long arm, I no longer receive that message about being in simulation mode. When I click Power Panto, it automatically comes up. So now you need to call up the the file that you previously saved working on the laptop and to do that you come down here to the bottom left and click on read panto and there it is because I copied it from the USB drive into this folder so then you just click that file click open and there it is and now I'm ready to stitch I can just come straight down to Sew and Zones. Now it's going to ask me, do you want to save the zone session, which of course you always do. I'm going to skip that for right now. And now I just move my long arm to where I'm, I'm ready to stitch. And I just start stitching out. Oops, got outside of my safe area. And that's how easy it is. And just remember to write down those uh, file folder names so you know where to copy from and to. And I hope this helps you. Thanks.